The cost of health care is skyrocketing, and so are the paychecks of hospital big shots. Tonight, a five in your side investigation uncovers why hospital CEOs are earning more than your doctor. Chief Investigator Ron Regan joins us, and Ron, even taxpayer-supported hospitals are paying out some pretty big salaries. Well, we found it's a nationwide trend, but it's also raising serious questions about whether hospital CEOs are being paid for profits or patient care. While you're spending more than ever before for medical care, hospital CEOs across the country are being paid more. Salaries that are coming under scrutiny by watchdog groups. It's especially disturbing uh, for, for taxpayers who are giving a, a nonprofit hospital a tax break because they're expected to provide this charity care to the community. Uh, and at the same time, the executive is making a million a year. Even Harvard School of Public Health is raising serious questions about what you're getting for your money. This study surveyed salaries for nearly 2,000 hospital CEOs nationwide. We spoke with its author by Skype. But what's interesting is that there's almost no relationship between kind of traditional measures of quality, and I'll explain what I mean by that, uh, and CEO salary. No connection between what hospital CEOs are paid and how well you're being taken care of. But if you really think about the basic elements of good quality health care, that is not something that CEOs seem to be compensated on. Here in Cleveland, we reviewed federal tax returns filed by nonprofit hospitals. Cleveland Clinic CEO earns $4 million a year. University hospitals, $2.2 million. And Metro Health CEO, more than $1 million a year. A public hospital where taxpayers contribute $40 million a year, 5% of its budget. Metro Health. Uh... Uh, received another honor. Dr. Akram Boutros is Metro CEO. He declined repeated requests to discuss his salary. Dr. J.B. Silver serves on Metro's board and helped determine it. Why so high of a salary? Well, high is a relative value. It depends on the peer group. Peer group salaries at similar hospitals. That means we're going to look at a peer group of other public hospitals, some others as well, of the same size, look at what their CEOs get paid, and we want to be at the 40th percentile. In other words, below average. Below average, even with generous bonuses totaling 30 to 40 percent. Bonuses we found are not linked strictly to patient care. Are they linked? to profit and growth or patient care? Both. Uh, we have to have a target in terms of financial performance because if you don't make the money, you can't be in business. The American Hospital Association reports one out of three hospitals is losing money. One reason why hospital finance experts insist high salaries are worth it. In some cases, those hospitals wind up closing those hospitals are forced to merge or they are not able to really be successful in the marketplace because of bad decisions from the top. This is a huge responsibility and you, you, you get paid according to what you do. We reviewed contracts at Ohio's two other public hospitals at Toledo and Ohio State. Both reveal salaries ranging from 800,000 to more than a million. Again, with generous bonuses. Even so, checks with a federal database of key quality measures for hospitals across the country found both Metro Health and Toledo fall below Ohio and the national average in patient surveys. Surveys Metro downplays. Populations like ours, particularly Medicaid populations and, and the uncompensated care, poor people, uh, tend, to, tend to rate organizations lower. Uh, the outcomes are more difficult, we have compliance issues, all sorts of things. So there's been a big debate whether those quality measures need to be risk adjusted for the type of population you have. Well, Metro says its quality care is improving, especially in hospital infections. Meanwhile, all of the experts we spoke with say the trend of ever increasing salaries for CEOs is likely to continue. I'm Chief Investigator Ron Regan.